The ECU Pirates have dropped back-to-back -back games and are now 3-2 through 5 games. Both losses were tough, close losses, and how will they respond against the Charlotte 49ers with a road conference game? They almost won last week. It was a very close game against UTSA, but we're going to find out how they respond to their second straight loss. So, let's dive right in. And we are underway in Charlotte, and a lot of people were requesting alternate uniforms, so we went with alternate uniforms today, and we have a much better start to today's game than we did last week. There's Randy Jefferson. His Pirates are coming off back-to-back -back losses, looking to improve to 4-2. And, and to me personally, I think there's a big difference between 4-2 and 3-3. And three and three. Pirates have black jerseys. They also have black script helmets, which Pirates is written out on the side of the helmet, and... Uh, we're going to see how we play today. There's a there's a good start. There's a great start. Lo loss of one. Here we go. Let's go, Pirates. Isaiah Brown Murray has been a really, really good player for ECU so far. And we are, we're just, we're looking to not beat ourselves like we did the past two games. Third and inches for the Charlotte 49ers. Pirates going to send some heat there here. They want to get off the field. Third and inches. Can ECU get off the field? Yes, they can. Sack. Loss of six. This is a great start for the Pirates. The biggest thing here, we cannot have a roughing, and we don't. And even if we fair catch this, which ooh, we're not going to, we're going to take this. Here goes Winston, or Winston, I think it's Winston Wright. There we go. We're out to the 45-yard line to start. The big thing Randy Jefferson, head coach, has been wanting to consistently do is run the football. There's a great start, Roger Harris. Can he make a man miss? He can. Still going down to the 39-yard line. ECU is, of course, led by the running back duo, Rajay Harris and Javius Bond. A little counter action, and Rajay gets back to the line. Now, you guys are probably used to seeing Javius Bond in, but this is this is, uh, this is is a freshman running back, TJ Engelman. He has tremendous acceleration. His only problem is, is he has 68 carries, so he has a little, little trouble hanging onto the football at times. Jake Garcia threw a couple interceptions last week, looking to hang on to the football this week. Third and seven early. Gets the ball out quick, and the ball is flat out dropped. ECU going for it. They want to set the tone early, and I'm also going to be honest, I don't trust myself from a 53-yard field goal on Heisman. Just being honest, I don't trust myself. Fourth and seven, here we go. Going for Raji in the flat. Raji, can he make a man miss? He cannot, and Charlotte takes over at the 31. Sorry, we got a first down. We picked up 20 yards or so. And the biggest thing is, especially based on last week, we did not turn the ball over, which that was critical. Second and four for Charlotte. Ball on the 37. Pirates jerseys are looking sharp, I must, must, must admit. There's a first down run by Cartavius Norton. First and 10 at the 42 for the 49ers, and they pick up a single yard. ECU's game plan today is very simple. Play good defense and get off the field. Can we get off the field there? We cannot. There's a great play, and they are to end down to the ECU 43. Anyway, ECU's game plan, play good defense, run the football. That is the key to success today. Second and nine, ball in the 42. Oh, a little screen action. Going for the strip, don't get it, but it's only a gain of one. Showed up on the screen that Charlotte's kicker only has 64 power, so this is a big play for them. Third and eight. Here we go. And they absolutely get the first down and pick up 22 yards. First and 10, Charlotte is in the ECU red zone. Pirates looking to make a stand. And they, that ball's out there. Okay, good, incomplete pass. Good play, fellas. Second and 10, ball in the 19. Can we get some pass rush? We can, we're right there. We're right there. And no, he completed it. He still completed it. It's a first down. Good play, really good play. I couldn't believe he got out of that, to be honest. First and goal at the seven yard line. ECU really just looking to hold him to a field goal. If we can get off, oh, there's, he got absolutely bowled over, and so did he down to the one-yard line. I don't like this for the Pirates, to be completely honest. Second and goal from the one. And they run right in. Six nothing, seven nothing, might as well say. Charlotte. ECU just wants a nice, methodical drive that would be ideal, and we're going to start with a run to Rajay Harris, and Rajay is going to be lucky if he gets a yard. Second and nine. Second pass of the game for Jake Garcia. TJ Engelman makes a man miss. Spin move makes another man miss, and he gets eight yards out down to a th third and one. Third and one for the Pirates to start the second quarter. No surprise, just going straight up. Run inside zone. I'm bigger than you. Pick up six. Good run, Rajay. 
Javius Bond enters the game after not hearing from him in the first quarter. Pirates going to look him to get him the ball. Great play call. Way to stretch the field horizontally. Can Javius get out of it? He can. First down, and he is down to the 46-yard line. Great play. 19 yards for Javius Bond. Plays like that will earn him more touches. He's going to continue to get the rock here. Here we go. Javius Bond. To, man, he is really cooking to start the second quarter, and he's down to the 33. One thing that I, I really want to emphasize as we move forward in this franchise or dynasty rather, is I, is I really want to focus on stretching the field. That's probably a bad play, and it's incomplete. Better that it was incomplete. But I really want to focus on stretching the field horizontally. You know, like kind of like the, the Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan does this every Sunday. He stretches the field horizontally and, and puts his team in very favorable situations before the play starts. And that's something that I want to be able to do. So whenever we bring in a, a mobile, a true mobile quarterback, here we go. Javius Bond in the game. Third and two. Does not get it. We're no huddle. No huddle. No huddle. No huddle. We're just gonna we're just going to we're just gonna run to Javius right here. Keep keep it going. Keep it going. Fourth and inches. Just run right to him. Run right to him. We're right here. We're right here. We're right here. We got the first down. Good play. Good play. Javius Bond is gonna take that inside the 10, down to the eight. But when we have a true mobile quarterback, it's it's really going to help with what our game plan is every week. And to be honest, it's, it's to stretch the field. Like I said, it's to stretch the field. Come on, Jake, step up, step up. Good play, down to the three. To be able to run sideline to sideline. And I'm not really worried about the level of receivers we have as long as they can simply, you know, catch the football. Because, the oh, I mean, as I say that, Casey Kelly drops the touchdown. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Rajay Harris gets the football down at the three. Rajay is, can he get in? He cannot. Fourth and goal, we are going for this 100%. Fourth and goal from the one. Here we go. Jake Garcia, can we step up? And we can touch down Pirates. But anyway, so, you know, you can stretch the field either side. And then, you know, you can really set up the play action. And, and to be honest, I, I never have intention, at least moving forward, unless we're down like we were last week. Unless we're down 20 points, I don't want to th consistently be in situations where you're throwing the ball. Um, oh, there's a screen. There's a screen. There's a screen. There's a screen right there. Uh, the de defensive tackle read it. Unfortunately, not fast enough to get there. Out to the 35. But if you can, you know, if you can keep the defense guessing every play, then that, that's that's extremely beneficial. And that's the goal for us long in the long run. We're right there. Right, oh, come on. How did he not deflect that? Uh, nine yard gain. Second and one, four minutes left to play in the second quarter. Seven all here in Charlotte. And I don't think he got the first. Still third and one. Would be big here if if the Pirates were able to get off the field. Would be really big if we can get off the field here. Can we get off the field? Unfortunately not. Wait, wait, wait. He went back. No, he got the first. He got the first. First and ten, ball at the 46. We're in danger of, us, of them going into our territory. Run right up the middle, and now they're in our territory, and they're down to the 41. This is a really big game for both teams because both teams are three and two. Uh, we are, of course, looking for our first conference win. And come on, make a play, guys. Make it poke the ball out. Second and two, ball at the 33 yard line. But needless to say, why? Oh my goodness, touchdown. Eight play drive for Charlotte as they go up 14 to seven. And here's ECU on the ensuing kickoff. Looking to make. Oh man, we got a had a lane for a second, but we get the ball to the 25. Ball on the 25 to start. ECU, big thing. Don't make mistakes. There's Casey Kelly right there. There we go. There's gain of 10. Good start. Out to the 35 for the Pirates. Need a drive here. Need a drive. There we go. There's a good play. There's a great play. And then and we're out to the 42. Gain of 7. Gain of 7. We have all three timeouts. So so no reason to... Uh, ooh, ooh, right there, right there. That's not picked. Thank you. Way to step in front. Good play. Good play. Back-to-back -back plays to Winston Wright. Get us out to the 47-yard 47, 47 line. We're, we're having a pretty good drive so far. They're sending a little rotation. Get that get that right there. There we go. There we go. Good play. Good play. Good play. Now, I know throwing across your body like that back to the middle of the field is is you never do that. But it was a... Uh, the, the field was open, so Jake took it. Here we go. Jake, speaking of the field open, Jake's going to take that for a gain of 16. Good play, guys. We're down to the 24-yard line. Clock ticking. About a minute left in the second quarter. Right there. There we go. There, there's even more. Oh, he might get in. He might get in. He might get in. And he's in. Touchdown, Pirates. 24-yard touchdown. And the game is tied at 14. This could be really good for ECU. We're going to, of course, try and poke the ball out on, on the kick return. They might might not return it. We'll see. And they do return it. Come on. Poke the ball out. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. That's right. Ball inside the 10. That's what we're talking about. We love... I love, like, lofting the ball on the... 
on the kicks so that so we get extra time to why i literally specifically said dude cover over the top and that still happens man that's a gain of uh, 63 yards this is so frustrating man like like i specifically said to defend over the top that's that's a crock we're right there let's let's see what they do here and we go for we we make a, a pass deflection instead of going for the ball if you were wondering it's not specific like i don't have my coach suggestions or adjustments rather to go for that so that's that's just frustrating there we go let's go let's go siobhan Ravel, make a juke that's fine that's what i'm talking about let's freaking go man we have all three timeouts we're gonna we're gonna take at least one play and, and and see what we have we're gonna run a little little double slant concept at least see what they're gonna give us at least see what they're gonna give us and we're just gonna slide and take this to half starting the second half where we started the game all tied up here we go 14 all tj engelman can he start the second half with the bang he is a really shifty player and he makes a couple juke moves and he's out to the 16 yard line tj engelman in the game to start the second half ball on the 16 he's gonna take this a little good little run good little run six yards gonna go from tj to javius bond still of course trying to run the football that is the pirates identity and we're gonna pick up the first down and get eight yards same formation as last play javius bond still in the game gonna run a little crack toss this is not something the pirates have ran a lot this year there goes javius and he picks up another first down raja harris into the game now ball on the 40 so now this is what i wanted to do stretch the field horizontally we're right there and there's really nowhere to go we're gonna see if we can catch the ball in front and we can perfect play gain of 18 yards i would normally not throw a pass like that but when the guys were like clearly behind him i, I just wanted to to see if if we could in fact do that here we go another play action play right there we're right there we're right oh we got caught that should have been honestly should have been a pi on the defensive lineman but that's fine nothing hurt nothing hurt Second and ten, Rajay Harris into the game now. Three backs, one drive. Here we go. Rajay Harris. Oh, oh, there's a flag. It's coming back. Don't want to risk injury. Don't want to risk a fumble. You know, you know that's not defensive holding. So you know it's coming back. Might as well just get out of bounds and live to see another down. Pirates now back at their own 48 yard line. Second and 19. Not ideal for the Pirates, especially. Oh, step up, step up, step up. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Secure catch. Winston Wright for the big play. First down, ECU. Great read, Jake. 25 yard gain for winston wright and that was a timely play that we've been preaching that we've been just trying to have oh there's not a nowhere for rajay to go gets back to the line second and ten ball in the 27 here we go oh there's nowhere come on jake just get out of it just get out of it jake is actually going to pick up a couple yards he's going to pick up a lot of yards he's going to pick up eight that was make something out of nothing third and two great drive for ecu jv is bond into the game here we go he's gonna get the rock he's gonna pick up the first and then some Javius is down to the six yard line raja harris now into the game at tailback or halfback anyway the ball at the six nowhere to go loss of three pirates have a good balance right now of of running the football and passing the football we're gonna go with the pass here on second and goal Jake, gonna see his receiver. Can Chase Sal get into the end zone? He can! Touchdown! 21-14 Pirates. Great 11-play drive to start the second half for ECU. And defense makes a stand. We're gonna be feeling pretty good. Can we... That's fine. They get the ball to 15 to start. Pirates run defense only allowing a little over three yards of carry today. The pass defense has been cooked a lot. So, and, and there they, they get shredded again and they pick up 25 yards second and six ball at the 44 yard line run to the left can we make a play can my man mckinstry make a play he can gain a four that was a critical play because if he did not make that play that might have been a touchdown don't know if we would have been able to bring him down third and two can jd lampley make a play no but the rest of the defense can loss of three fourth and five great start to the second half no 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 roughing the kickers make sure we have none of that can we return this i don't think we can that's fine ball at the 12 good punt i mean whenever the the opposing defense lines up like this you have three guys four guys with the guy in the left tackle left guard the linebacker over there and then the db on the receiver in the slot so this is i mean this is just take what the defense gives you to a t just run the ball right there a guard picks it up great run i mean just take what it take what they give you 14 yards great great run rajay we've had the three-headed monster today rajay and javius and of course we added tj englewood to the mix today here's javius bond javius is going to pick up first down he's going to spin move and javius picks up 19 yards great run 
I'll tell you, Javius is really having a good game today. I mean, he is having a phenomenal game. Here we go. This is where I mean stretch the field horizontally. Right there. That's fine. I, I, nothing came out of that, but the, the pass rusher was right there, so we had to, had to get the ball out. Had to get the ball out quick, but the concept of, of, of stretching the field was right there. Second and 13. Could be the final play of the third quarter. Can we pick up that block? Yes. Matt, uh, Jake Garcia is going to get close to a first down and picks up 12. Third and one to start the fourth. Javius Bonds having a great day. We're going to, whenever guy's having a great day, we want to give him more opportunities. Third and one. Javius, can he pick up? I don't think he got it. Fourth and inches. Not even a hesitation. We, we knew we were going for this. Not even a hesitation. Fourth and inches. We're going to run the ball. Obviously, they can't hear me, so I'm telling you, we're going to run the ball. Give it to Javius Bond. Two carries with a yard. He gets it. We'll take that every time. You, you give Javius Bond two carries for a yard. We'll take that every time. This is where I love having the, the running back depth. And this is also from the recruiting class. What we want to continuously include is, is running back depth. TJ Engelman into the game. TJ is going to... TJ is very, very quick. First down run. Now we, can bring the, now we can bring the big bruiser back into the game. Rajay Harris, first down. Ball at the 27. Rajay, oh, he made a man miss. And he picks up a first down. Rajay still going down to the 11-yard line. 16 yards. First and 10 ball at the 11. Rajay Harris gets the football again. Rajay, bulls a man. And he's down to the 8-yard line. Second and 8. Ball on the 8. This is, this, is, this is second and goal here. Come on, Rajay. Get in, get in, get in, Rajay. Third and inches. Here we go. This is this is what I mean. Pre-snap read. There's there's because you can't leave the guys open in the red zone. So we have there there's just a, a gaping hole between the right guard and right tackle. This should be a walk-in. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is we've played our game today, and this is what I'm talking about. Eleven play drive, two second half possessions, two long drives. This is this is what we want right here, man. This is what we want. And we'll take them ball to 25. I, I really, I mean, of course I like Rajay Harris and Javius Bond, but adding TJ Engelman today, I, I, that's going to be something we do moving forward. I liked him. I like the, what he brings to the game and it's paid off. Javius is more fresh as the game goes on. And he actually has 10 carries for 86 yards. I mean, we are playing we're, we're scheming our, our, our guys open We're we're playing really just complimentary football. We're playing great offensively i don't want to get too far ahead of myself defensively here but we do need to stop we get one stop then 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 we come on make the tackle make the tackle make the tackle we're right there that's what we want that's effectively a run because we're this late into the game and it's 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 a gain of zero so that's effectively a run and it keeps the clock going we'll take that underneath all day we'll take that underneath all day gain of seven we'll take it keep keep going and what's nice is they need two touchdowns, not just one. So we're, we're, we're absolutely guarding over the top. We don't want to give up the big play. Oh, a little run. And they still can't get it. Fourth and inches. Here we go. Fourth and inches. Can JD Lampley or somebody on the defense step up and make a play? JD. It's right there, baby. We get the ball back. Let's go. Timely plays. Timely plays. We're up 28-14. Give the big fellow the rock. Who, who else but Rajay Harris? Unfortunately, he only got back to the line, but that's fine. Because it takes time off the clock. We're going to give the rock to Javius Bond. Can he get over 100 yards today? Gain of 14 will do that, and he only picks up... I don't know how many picked up, but Demon Clowney is hurt. Um, that is actually Jadevian's brother. So the injury stops the clock. Third and seven from the 41. We've only taken off about... 35 40 seconds so far we would love to pick up the first and unfortunately we don't we're gonna go for it though letting the clock go all the way down see if we can draw them off sides we can't fourth and six here we go game if we get this that's game and we get sacked that's fine they still have to have two touchdowns that's fine that was two critical minutes taken off the clock at the, which at this point is is what charlotte needs more than anything and that's picked off that is picked off kevin merrill jr we get the ball right back. We get the ball right back. Let's go, baby. Here's a little fun fact. Kevin Merrill Jr. is only like a 67 overall, but he was like a linebacker, or a, 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 a corner converted. Come on, Javius. Javius, Javius, Javius. Come on. Come on. Get in. Get in. Get in. Javius Bond. What a game. Over 100 yards. Touchdown. And that will seal the deal. Do your day, it's Javius. Let's go. So what I was saying was uh, Kevin Merrill is actually like a, he was like a DB converted to a linebacker before I started this. I, I personally didn't convert him, 
but he has like 93 speed. So his tackling stats aren't great, but I like having him across the middle just so he can at least slow a guy down in situations like this, which is nice, which is really nice. Pirates win with the score of 35-21. Unfortunately, I gave up a touchdown. I turned into a guy and they just, the guy was wide open. So we were playing cover three. I accidentally turned into the guy to in the deep third zone and I accidentally flicked the controller forward. Um, yeah, they, they had a big long touchdown after that game over 35 21 big win for the pirates and this this was the quintessential game that i want to play 38 carries 277 yards obviously we're not going to be able to expect that every week but the way that we jake completed 76 percent of his passes today we didn't put the ball in harm's way we didn't turn the football over most importantly uh, i mean we, we played really really well i mean jake stepped up and ran when he had to Rajay had 63 tough yards javius cannot emphasize excuse me, cannot emphasize how good he played today. And he's only a true sophomore, which is, which is really nice. So we're going to, I mean, we're going to have, I, I really think by the time that Javius Bond is a senior, I think he could be a 12 or 1400 rushing yard, not even including receiving, but I think he could really be finished top five or six in the NCAA in rushing in year three of the dynasty. Let's see what we have here. We have a coach upgrade which I will apparently can't do right now. Uh, recruiting, not much to update. We had Derek Speed commit last week. Uh, Joel, Joel Blau, we're, look, I mean, we're just sending the house every week. Same thing with uh, Dante Duval. Almost, we're, we're getting close to the top five. Kamani Wall is getting close to the top three. We have four defensive tackles that are seniors this year, so that's why we're trying to uh, replenish the depth along the defensive line. So, we're getting close on some commits. Uh, Eric Elway, we're, I mean, you can see how close we are to a commit. And obviously we use the, the multiple backs this week. So it would be nice if, if he committed so we can uh, free up some recruiting points and uh, if we can, you know, bring in another recruit. Eric Elway would be our fourth commit of the class. We'll see if we can get him. Can we get him? Eric Elway. That's actually, I don't think it shows. Oh, it does. Let's go. Let's go. Another commit. That's what's up. Fourth commit of the series. I didn't think it was going to show it right away. I thought it went to this immediately. Uh, but Kamani is a three-star gem, and he we, he's officially in his top three. So, recruiting update. Uh, committed to Coastal. I wasn't really worried about him. I think he had actually, Kalen Duggar had actually really poor um, pass, or really poor strength ratings, rather. Not pass protection, but strength ratings. Uh, Tim Peace, top five. Kamani, top three. So, he'll be a, another commit soon. So, we have four commits to ECU and we have a bye week I'm not gonna well you know what I'm going to cut out a lot of this but I will uh see what we have here we're gonna always move my commits down a little bit we're gonna recruit a little bit I'll, I'll do that off screen and then when I advance the week we'll see where we are you guys can see where we are now um Joel Blau man we are getting close to the top three and we've talked about Joel before he is 92 throw power 94 speed you can see the abilities uh, can you actually? Yes, you can. Magician, option king, team player. He's he's probably going to start right away with those type of ratings and the offense we want to run. So I'm very, very much looking forward to... Uh, hopefully he commits. Very look, much looking forward to that. Uh, little coach skills update. We have 10 points here. Uh, let's see. We can increase starting interest from defensive line, increase from offensive line. I don't think there's much... Uh, linebackers, no. I think I'm going to bonus to dbs for sure is one that i want we're i don't think we really need to increase re recruiting hours for quarterbacks because i think joel was going to commit soon um offensive line is something that again i want to be able to dominate the trenches so i am going to go all four there and increase starting interest from the offensive line so this is where we are a uh, little recruiting update i linebackers just not i mean we'll, we'll get them i'm not worried i don't think there's going to be a, a ray lewis out there that would be interested in ecu so it's i'm not really worried about that but if, we, if there's a recruit battle between like us in north carolina or, or duke or, or any of the big schools in north carolina even south carolina for that matter i want to give us as good of a chance as we can so that's the reason for that all right as we fast forward into week eight we're four and two let's see if we can pick up if we can pick up one more commit it would be kamani wall he's really close can we can we get him can we get him it's close no, we can't. That's fine. That's fine. We are, uh, we're close though. We're really close. I think one more week and I think we'll have our, our fifth commit. 
We're really improving, though. We are really improving. Four wins in the year already doing good. We're, I would say it's pretty safe that we're going to go to a bowl game this year. And I'm really, really glad that DeMonte, or excuse me, Dante Duval, four-star defensive tackle from Alabama, has reached his top five schools because he's going to play right away. He's 20th ranked defensive tackle in the class. He's going to play right away. And we are also very far ahead with Demetri Earl. It's not good that Georgia's, you can't see, my head's in the way, I'm sorry. But Georgia's the number two, Tennessee's number three. They're pretty far behind, so that's not ideal. Um, and then Miles at Abali, we're, he's a 6'6 tight end. We're kind of ahead. I mean, we're decently far ahead, but let's see if we can get another commit soon. I'm going to see where we are actually in the recruiting class, uh, top classes, because we have, we have several commits. Joel, that's what I'm talking about. We're close. We are very close to getting another commit, or top three, rather. Uh, Dante getting close to the top three. Kamani is, like I said, this is why I thought Kamani was going to commit, because he was like this close last week. So we're really, really close with him. We're getting close with Tim Peace, another defensive tackle. And again, we're getting close with Demetri Earl as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, see where we are at top class. I knew I was forgetting something. I wanted to see where we were. We are in the American Conference. We're the 81st ranked class right now. Not bad. So we're going to, another commit will certainly be up there. But look at the recruits that we have versus like the rest of the conference. So slowly but surely, you know, we could have Rice here, 18 one-star commits. Does it really matter? No. So we'll take quality over quantity with the ECU Pirates. Four commits, including a four-star center. So, two center or two two offensive linemen, two running backs. We want to pound the rock and dominate the trenches. So that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Like I said, I am not afraid to ask uh, on the second channel, especially. We're trying to get to 2K subs by the end of August. So please like, please comment, please comment anything go, comment go pirates if you're watching this far into the video it would be very much appreciated so that i know like people are actually like you know commenting go pirates and and that it just would mean a lot uh we are a little ways away from 2k subs but all the support helps and i cannot thank you guys enough so until next time as always hope you enjoyed please be safe and have a great day love you guys